All right, hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of Impossible Locations in Horizon Zero Dawn. If I look at our map today, we are at the Banuk Encampment uh, in this region up here called the Long Notch. And uh, today we're basically going to go ahead and get to a spot that I saw back when this game first came out, uh, down this valley right here. As you can see, there's this giant square area up here. This is actually a really high ledge that I for the longest time could not find a way up on top of and it really actually bothered me because I was just plain simple curious what was up there. And so along this cliff edge here there's just no way up there. But about a year ago I did find a roundabout way up there. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do today. I'm going to go ahead and get outside of the settlement here. And I'm going to go ahead and call myself a mount. Alright. Let's go, girl. There we go. So once I get around this bend here, I'm going to go ahead and veer off the road. There we go. Now this whole valley area actually is a really cool area. It's a place players don't often go to. Uh, just because there's not really anything like to actually go to. Other than like this Lancehorn site and this Glinthawk site. Um, which Glinthawks are <laughs> notorious for being some of the most annoying machines in the game, so people don't generally seek them out. Uh, it's very off the beaten path, uh, so a lot of people just don't really go up this way, uh, especially like back here where there's not really much of anything other than some watchers. So this is definitely an area that players don't really explore very much, so this might be new to you actually. In which case, this will be interesting for you to see. Oh, crud. Okay, this is gonna get fun. We will actually have to kill these Glint Hawks in order to do, to do this, because they kind of block the path I need. Alright, let's... I think this is the first time that you'll see in combat in any of my videos. Why everybody thinks they're annoying. Oh god. And I think that's it. Whew. Went through almost half my arrows. Oh, is there is there another one still? There is. Alright, make your way over here. No, no, no. We're not playing that game. You know what? Down you go. Alright. I am at these resources because I'm not wasting all those arrows to get nothing for it. I am fairly resource conscious. Oh, hello, Scrapper. Fight is starting all over again with Scrappers and this one Glit Hop that just will not quit. Oh, dang it. Okay, that was bad. That was a that was a bad shot. Should not have even bothered. Oh, come on! This is so annoying. Okay, you've actually caused me damage now. This is 
very nice. Huh? There. Uh, can we be done, please? I just want to get on with the video. <laughs> I might even just fast forward through that crap. Okay. Any other resources I might be missing? Glint Hawk right here. Boy. Well, there shouldn't be any machines for like, you know, miles around me at this point. So this is, you know. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. I think that's it. I think there might be a Glint Hawk somewhere up on that cliff. I don't care at this point. I just want to get on with my life. That was definitely mildly annoying. So if I get around over here, I'm just going to go ahead and show you the actual clip itself before I actually show you how to get up on top of it. So I'm just going to get around here. It's right there. So you can actually see the cliff. It's absolutely gigantic. It's very vertical. Uh, and I could not find for the longest time any way up there, up into that area, up there. However, there is a way up there. You just have to go around this side of the lake. So. Let me go ahead and whoop this way. And we're going to go up here. This provides a nice little ramp along this whole side of the cliff going this way. We are kind of going away from where we want to go, but that's absolutely fine. We're going to loop our way back around. And there are little holes in the cliff here. This one's not uh, so interesting because you can't really get in here very well. However, there's another one coming up that actually is pretty neat. So that's going to be a little bonus I can show you. Right here. So this one you can actually get inside of. And there's lots of little nooks like this in the game. Uh, so it's definitely something to keep your eye out for if you're ever going around bunny hopping on these cliffs. And at this point we can go ahead and just go over here. Because we can't quite make it up this slope here, it's just a bit too steep. Aloy likes to fall down, but once you get around there you can actually get onto this. And work your way around here. And get down here. Jump up on this little rock. And now we're up above the, the, the cliff here that would just be like impossible to get up just because of steep angles and everything else. And you just go around through here. And on up the slope. You just kind of do little hops to kind of get to places, but once you're up here in these trees, you're actually up on this sort of ledge area. Now, there's not really much up here, to be fair. Um, the only thing that's really of any use is that it's good for photo opportunities. Because there are some really cool ledges and stuff along here. If you go, for instance, right over here... And you can hop in your photo mode. So you can get this pretty much the length of this whole valley going down Long Notch on over to uh, Devil's Grief. And then you can go ahead and actually get up that way and get an even higher view if you want. So I mean, there's, there's some good photo opportunities. Um, you can also just bunny hop along these cliffs. I have tried getting up that ramp. It looks like a nice ramp to get out of here. Uh, it's too steep, you fall down. You can feel free to try it if you want, and if you find a way to get up there, obviously I'll be more than happy to see that, and you can go ahead and share that in the uh, Discord server, link in the description below if you are not a part of that, and you wish to be. But yeah, you can, you can get a lot of cool advantages. And you can actually, uh, around this valley, get up like as high as that sort of ledge up that way. 
I have gotten up there before as well. Uh, it's not nearly as impressive as this, but uh, you can do that. You can get up quite high on these snowy slopes, actually, just doing little hops. So it, it takes a while. It takes time, but you can do it. So if you're wanting to explore an area that's real, like rarely ever actually looked into by players, this valley is it. This is a this is a pretty uh, pretty cool place actually. All right, well that's really about all I've got for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, as I said earlier, if you wish to join the Discord server, uh, link is in the description below. And I will see you in the next video.